Hello everyone, welcome back to another FSD beta video. Today we are on version 11.4.9. We just got this today in the morning along with the holiday update. And if you haven't seen my video on the holiday update, I kind of go over all the features and test them out on a drive as well. So um, I'll, you can click on the link on the top right and it'll take you to that video. And uh, if you want to see my FSD video, this is the video for it. So what we're going to do today is we're going to get out of the parking lot again with FSD version 11.4.9 this time. And we're also going to see if there's any improvements driving around in residential areas. So it's around lunchtime right now, so it's going to be a little bit busy. It'll be interesting to see. So right now, you can't see it on the camera, but we, on the right-hand side, we've got a parked car right next to us. And on the left-hand side, I kind of have... Um, kind of like a pavement or a parking area. So I'll just put in a way, waypoint over here to start us off and then we'll test this out. So maybe let's try and pick this one over here just to make things a little bit interesting where we have a right and a left. Okay, and you can see over here what I meant, meant by that is that I have a pavement on the next ne next to me on the left hand side and we've got a car behind me and a car on our, my right hand side. Unfortunately, I don't have the, uh, I have the USS uh, or the ultrasonic sensors, so I don't really have the high definition uh, park assist yet. So we'll see um, when that's going to be coming over to uh, folks or us in cars with ultrasonic sensors. And uh, that'll be nice to test out as well. I'm really interested in those, in that um, upgrade. So, okay, so we can see we're not very, very mapped properly over here. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and engage FSD right now, and we'll see if it does take us out of the parking area of this mall. Ooh. It didn't come on for the first time, which is weird. I don't think it's got a proper waypoint, does it? Here we go. Immediately we see the limiting the speed and it's kind of worried because we're a little bit too close to that car and we've got a lot of jerking back and forth so that's not very good. Oh I do want to bump down my autopilot speed to be honest so let's go ahead and do that. So it stops at the stop sign very nicely. Yeah, here it's getting a little bit confused. It wants to get a little bit close to the stop sign here. It's actually not too bad. And we need to tap just a little bit on the accelerator because there's a car behind me. Okay. And now we're kind of out. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's a little bit, you know, getting confused because the way it's mapped is different than the way it's been actually... Then we're off here, and uh, yeah, we kind of had to wait for that car to do that maneuver. Positioning is not really great over here. We've got a red yellow line. Oh, interesting to see how the yellow line is represented right now. We didn't really have the dotted yellow line here, which is weird. Huh. So there are a little bit of changes in visualization, I think. I've never seen this. Okay, so folks, let me know if you have seen dotted yellow lines before on the visualization, because I feel like this is a new one. Uh, we've got the green light, so we should be able to proceed over here. Alrighty, here we go. So here we see a little bit of the additional nags that we haven't been seeing before and the font or the text and the size te the size of the text is bigger than the usual. So those are new additions due to Nitsa's recall. It's really funny. I don't really understand what does increasing the size of the text really do you know accomplish it's like it's already it was very 
readable before, so I don't really see the the um, you know the the improvement there. But anyways, so changing lanes to follow. So we didn't really see much. Oh, and that's a little bit of an aggressive break for that uh, truck doing that maneuver in front of us. Um, so yeah, we didn't really see much um, changes, I guess, in terms of... Uh, all right, so we have an unprotected left here. It's creeping a little bit forward, a little bit too uncomfortably forward, to be honest, but that's, that's really welcomed because that's one of the complaints that I have with unprotected lefts. It doesn't actually get into the intersection. And I think, I think it actually follows through if the traffic light changes as well. Oh, nice. Okay, very good commit over here. I wouldn't, uh, even myself, I wouldn't have committed for that, to be honest, because cars were com incoming at a very high speed. Yeah, that's a very welcomed update there. Now, the speed limit over here is 50. I'm not sure why it didn't pick that up. Um, I did notice with the previous version, we've got a few hiccups with the speed limits, and uh, it's been bumping down all the way to 50 on a 100 kilometer speed zone sometimes so while on high speed streets and high speed or like highways basically let's see if it picks up this 50 over here 50 kilometer speed zone does it get picked up yes it does this time okay very good okay i think we are approaching our destination over here nearby so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna probably put in another waypoint here Let's see if it tackles it this way. It would have been better. Okay. This is another issue that I that I face with FSD. FSD doesn't quite really fit in that uh, in that area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap the accelerator and try and get it to get closer. Yeah, but the traffic light changed and yeah I mean there's obviously there's a lot of space over there so our car should really get into that that positioning over there even though there's no lanes or lane markings to signify that it's a two lane or manageable to be two lane so that's kind of how folks drive drive over here as well okay so we're coming up to a left turn over here in this residential area Okay, there's a car approaching over there, but it's probably going to be able to make it. That's very good. Did not freak out or anything. And now it's limiting max speed for road type. And I wonder it's because it sees all the ice forming on the, on the roads over here, which is uh, due to the snow that we just got. I've got to slow down here a little bit, buddy. So it is a 30 kilometer speed zone, but it doesn't really pick that up. So I'm going to have to manually drop the speed. So this is a yield sign over here. So this is one of the things that uh, FSD struggles with. It doesn't really check for visibility sometimes. It just skips over these. But um, here it actually does a complete stop and then goes ahead. Not too bad. Yeah, so here we go. Let's put in this waypoint over here. I'm gonna engage FSD. So there is some sort of a uh, uh, complicated route over there that's uh, let's see if it's going to be able to go ahead over here yeah that's pretty good uh, dealing with incoming traffic over there so here we're coming up to a, a sticky situation where we have to do a left and a right instantly after that um, in another maybe five minutes so I'll speed you up over here and we can go through that but uh, this is also another interesting scenario over here where we have to take a left and it's an unprotected left and you've got high speed traffic coming from both ways. Uh, that car needs to come across. Here we go. Very nice. And that it dealt with that very nicely, to be honest. That was really good. It waited for the right time and it didn't freak out with that incoming car from the other side. Um, I've seen I've seen it get messed up with uh, with stuff like that. So in the previous uh, previous drives and previous versions. Okay, 
So typically this road is split into two lanes. So let's see if FSD is actually routing this very nicely. I'm very, very happy with that. So I'm just going to overtake over here just because I don't want to be um, slowed down because some folks are taking a left over here. And it should really change lanes after we go on from here. Uh, I don't want it to do that before the traffic light. That's one of the issues. Changing lanes during intersection. Just leave that voice note there. So here we go. So now we've got to be careful with the incoming traffic over here because the green light is also for them. It does come to a complete stop over here. Actually, I'm going to have to tap on the accelerator. It's going way too slow and the traffic light kind of changed there. Now it's got to change lanes over here and it's not going to do it in time. So, And we're off the tracks over here, so not very good. So yeah, that's a very, very difficult situation for FSD or a difficult, difficult scenario to be honest. Um, yeah, so it's quite the um, quite the take over here. Let's see if we can. Um, I'm just gonna try and manage and go in on the left hand side somewhere over here, or maybe even on the right over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter over here and then we'll try and make our way to the other side. So here we go. This is the scenario that I want to test out. So we're parked a little bit close here on the left hand side. So I'm going to give it a tap here and try, try and get out of that person's face. And here we've got a car that's reversing. Out of nowhere. Holy. All right. The sun is shining. Yeesh. Let's see how this is going to work. So we're going to have to do a left from here. Kind of like what this car is doing. We're going to have to cross across like cross way across like that so let's see if this is gonna work this is going to be a tough one there is a car behind me that's the only issue and it is like rush time right now so I'm really not too keen on holding up traffic a lot All right, let's see how this is gonna work. Is it gonna go? Yes, I think it is. Oh, it's gonna wait over here. And then it's gonna, it's gonna creep forward. Oh my God, this is crazy. Yeah, there's a car coming up from there. <laughs> now, I, you know, like I'm anticipating that there's gonna, car, there's gonna be a car coming up there, but oh man, this one's a tough one. Yeah, this one's a tough one. Um, but yeah, you guys saw that, like that's, that's terribly difficult. That's a difficult scenario right there. And that car was also kind of encroached into the middle of the intersection, which they're not supposed to, because then they're occluding our traffic or our view from the right hand side. So yeah, so I'm going to, I'm going to come back over, over here and do this, uh, and do this test again. But, uh. Uh, but hopefully I'll have a little bit more time. But yeah, thanks folks for watching. So yeah, 4.9, um, you know, nothing really crazy, nothing out of the ordinary there. Um, I did have a lot of issues with 3.8, was it 3.8? No, 4.8.1, sorry. Uh, issues with uh, uh, speed, speed uh, pickup or like picking up the right speed limits and stuff like that. But uh, I haven't seen that yet. 
but we'll be doing some more testing and I'll be reporting back and hopefully another video coming up soon as well. So hope you folks like this video and uh, if you did, please hit like and please subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested in buying a Tesla, please follow my referral link at the bottom of the video that I've been posting and it'll take you for, to the uh, Tesla referral program and you can buy your own Tesla and get a discount on it from my referral code. So hope you folks like this video and we'll see you in the next one and happy holidays.